I think I might have found the best pub stopover yet. I can see for miles around, so let's go and find out what the food's like. Hello, I'm Missy Jo. Come and join me on my travels around the UK and Europe in my motorhome Elaine. You can join me in the laughter and giggles along the way. I'll take you on adventures and days out that everyone can enjoy. And if you like what you see, please like, comment and subscribe. So the funny thing about this uh, pub stopover is it's actually a really, really nice wedding venue. And you can't see, but there's some brilliant views. Just look. The music's hilarious. I'm sat in the van listening. They must be having a brilliant time. Look how pretty it is all lit up. So I'm just going to go get some dinner. I'll probably have a wine. Um, so that I can sleep through the uh, wedding music. But yeah, I think in the summer this, uh, this place will be amazing to sit outside. Inside the kitchens as well, which I always think is a good thing. They're not trying to hide anything. No, seriously, I mean, this food is amazing. Cheers. So I can do a video now because uh, there's nobody behind me. This place is really nice. Um, yeah, it's busy. There's a sat it's Saturday night. Uh, it wasn't the cheapest, but the food was amazing. Yeah, really good. Um, I've had a really interesting conversation online um, about a woman eating out by herself. I thought that, that was like, what do you do that, you know, I'll take pictures. This place is so busy, despite the fact that it's right behind me. Um, what, what do you do? Do you put your book? This is my view. Except no. I've got my wine. It's lovely. It's a really nice restaurant next door. I think I'm going to come for breakfast in the morning so that you get to see what it's like when it's quiet because it is really nice. But just through those glass doors on the other side, there is that wedding going on that I was saying about. Very nice. Really warm. So actually, if you can't afford to put the heat on in your motor home, just come and sit in the toilet. So I've just finished my meal. It was delicious, it was stunning. Um, I didn't sit in the restaurant bit that you can see here. Uh, but if you can see the green windows through the conservatory, I actually sat just behind them. Oh, hi Elaine. This is what we came for. Look at that. This is in the main car park, but you've also got this overflow area that they said I could park in. Um, You've also got the overflow area a bit further up as well, but that looks quite hilly, you'd need to ramp up there. But here's the car park. I've just took myself away into the corner. It's not too obtrusive. You can actually see um, into Beamish from here. And there over in the distance, you've got miles and miles and miles of views. Morning. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick update on my night's sleep here at the Black Horse. Now, it's not often this happens. I know I'd had a couple of Chardonnays, maybe that helped. Um, I've just had 12 hours sleep. That never, ever happens. 
I've woken up. I feel really refreshed. I did go to bed relatively early, so I went to bed about nine o'clock um, after I'd had dinner, but there was a wedding going on as well. So there was some music in the background uh, up at the marquee that I showed you yesterday. Um, but I didn't hear a thing. Once I dropped asleep, that was it. Um, for lighter sleepers, it could be an issue. Um, so you might want to be aware of that if you're thinking of booking for a Saturday evening. Um, but the views this morning are just incredible. If we're gonna be lucky, we're gonna hear the, uh, <clears throat> the horn from the mine. That's where the marquee was, where the wedding was. dog friendly so um, if you've got dogs you can go and eat in the bar area uh, I chose to eat in the restaurant um, I was originally given a table next to three single men now I'm sure a younger Joe might have really enjoyed that um, but I asked to move so I did sit around the corner uh, on a little bit more of a smaller area where it was more tables for two rather than tables for four the staff here are amazing, uh, particularly Sarah, young waitress, really, really um, a great asset for this place. She understood where I was coming from as a solo traveller. Angel. 